Hi, this is Torrent Talks, and this is my review of Mad Max Fury Road. So I finally got around to seeing Fury Road. It was really good. It was really interesting. I loved all the characters, especially Furiosa. I thought she was really cool. I thought she looked great. I loved her story. Furiosa wasn't just one dimensional. She had a lot of characterization to her as well and Max did also but he, they left his past mysterious which I really appreciated um I really liked the character of Max although he didn't have many lines I felt he didn't need that many um he definitely was interesting it made me want to know more about his world or his past it just kept me very intrigued uh the world building was great I love the post-apocalyptic Mad Max future. I I totally dig that. They're in the Australian region. Uh, I love that. I am so intrigued by this world. I've been a fan of Mad Max since I was a kid. And I love all the this car culture worship. I love that. The War Boys were really awesome. I love their whole shtick. Their whole... Valhalla, you know, riding in Chrome V8. I just love that whole deal. I love how their little religion or whatever was a mashup between car culture and Norse mythology. I, I don't know if in post apocalyptic futures the only things that survived were like a car manual and, you know, some old Thor stories or something. I don't know. Nicholas Holt, I really loved him in the movie as Nux. They were just so dedicated to a Morton Joe like their whole world their whole life was a Morton Joe and then when that kind of got shattered for his character you know he still went out on the blades of glory I loved all these characters I just wanted to know more about everyone in the Mad Max world I just this world was just it was just perfect like, I just wanted to dive in kind of like reminds me of Star Wars where there's just so much going on you could tell so many different stories you know, you got Furiosa's story, then Mad Max's story, and Nux, and then, you, you know, you could even tell a story from one of the villains' perspective. It just, it's just world building at its finest, and I miss this in movies. It's my favorite thing about movies when I feel like this is another world that I can just jump into and feel like is real and authentic. Doof Warrior, the guitar playing, the guy that was playing like heavy metal on the car while it was driving, that blew my mind. I loved it. Oh, uh, so good. I totally want a car and a dude playing heavy metal on top of it. I, I need that in my life right now. That would be a good thing to have, I, I think. <laughs> and Doof Warrior is played by this Australian guy named Iota and he's a guitarist and an artist and a painter and all these other things but that character when I saw him drop on top of that car and just truck and was just oh playing heavy metal like that that was awesome like I could have just saw like 30 minutes of that and been completely just why I haven't seen an action movie this rewarding and such a long time another thing i liked about this movie speaking of the action were all the stunts that were used in the film a lot of them were practical meaning they weren't like cgi you know where the car slipping through the air because someone's making it rotate on the computer screen these were actual real stunts done by people in real time and i think that is great i'm not a cgi hater but I do appreciate practical effects and that kind of stuff too. So I do like when they blend them together. And I felt like Mad Max did that successfully where they took the awesome things that CGI can do and the awesomeness and the realness that comes with practical effects and kind of merged them into an awesome action baby. And that is Mad Max Fury Road. The storyline itself, I felt, was strong. There were a couple of parts that I was confused on or that it took me a minute to kind of piece together. But um, 
I think that just means I need to rewatch it a second time. It's definitely one of those movies that makes you think about technology in the future and where we're going and where we're going to end up about how certain people will be treated in the future or how certain people are treated now. You know, women, they were just basically baby making factories and milk producing factories. They weren't even human beings. They were just commodities like cows or something, you know, and that's a very interesting yet scary notion to kind of think about. This is a movie that opens a lot of dialogue and a lot of thinking while being entertaining and stuff blowing up and people are getting punched out. So it's just kind of like the best of both worlds in my opinion. Overall, I would recommend going to see Mad Max Fury Road. I think that I'm going to see it a second time just to make sure I got all the finer details that I might have missed from being just so happy to see explosions and people getting punched and a guy on top of a truck playing a freaking guitar. So it's definitely one of the better action movies that I've seen in the last three or four years for sure. So I definitely recommend going to see Mad Max Fury Road.